And welcome back to Ozarks Live. Now, you might have seen a photo circulating on the web recently, no pun intended, <laughs> on the web. Here to talk to us a bit about the picture of the giant spider web is the guy who took the picture, you know, media specialist Francis Skaliski. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Joy. This okay. has been quite a run. Well, okay, you... Okay, I'll just take it from the beginning. You've made it famous. What happened? The World Wide Web. That's what I'm calling it. Because For good it's really, reason. Yeah, it's got around the world. September 5th, me and my wife, Michelle, were on a walk in the Lost Hill Park, mm -hmm. Greenways Trail, and we saw this web. And now, for starters, it wasn't big enough to catch a human. It was probably about the size of a dinner plate, maybe just a smidge bigger. So, yeah. And I, there it is. It's really there it is, pretty. Yes. And, you know, it was one of those things like 15 minutes sooner, 15 minutes later, I probably wouldn't have seen it because, the, as you can see, the sun is hitting it just right. So, and by, by the way, Michelle said she saw it first, so let's give her credit. So, okay, but, good work, Michelle. <laughs> but I, I had my phone, so I took a picture of it, and it actually sat on my phone for a couple weeks, and uh, then last Wednesday, I, I saw it, oh yeah, I was going to submit that to the Department of Conservation Facebook page. So I submitted it, and on Friday, somebody from our church texted me and said, hey, you're on my news feed. And then on su Saturday, Somebody texted Michelle and said, hey, Francis is on CNN, on the CNN website. Oh my and then gosh. it just exploded. And I, 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 I mean, truly, it has been all over the world. I actually Googled it, and there it's on news feeds from all over the world. I got a Facebook message from somebody in London who wants to use it for a book cover. He wanted a higher resolution photo. It's like, this is all I've got. I, I, I wasn't out to take nature photos. I was out for a walk with my wife, and I just happened to snap it. So now that photo, uh -huh. put it up again if you can. It's between two trees, yes, right? This, yes. This, this web. Yes, and I okay. think, for, well, there was a couple things. One of the th was the juxtaposition does make it look big. Also, down in the comments on the Department of Conservation Facebook page, somebody had said it. I think they were just in jest. They said, boy, that looks big enough to, to catch a human or something. And it just exploded from that. But as I said, and to nothing I submitted, nothing on the MDC Facebook page said anything about being large or anything like that. <laughs> and for the record, it like I said, it was about the size of a dinner plate, maybe a smidge bigger. But I mean, look at that web. The true winner is this little spider on the north side of Springfield. Uh, who, no kidding. That is a, a, a magnificent craftsmanship. I mean, it's perfect circle and the intricacy of it, that's why I took it, and that's the true wonder of it for me. No doubt. Okay, now tell me about the spider. What kind okay, of spider did it's this? It's an orb weaver spider, mm -hmm. which is kind of an umbrella term for several species of spider. There are several species of orb weavers. I'm thinking maybe it was an arabesque, about arabesque orb weaver, which is a common type of orb weaver in mm -hmm. Missouri. And it weaves a uh, wheel type of web. So it could have been that. Ironically, different type of orb weaver was in Charlotte's Web. So oh. while, while this doesn't say some pig, right. this, all, this actually does show the craftsmanship that orb weavers can do. And like I said, that is the true winner here. The true news story mm -hmm. is that look at that web and look how, look how detailed it is and look how just magnificent it is. So. And I'll tell you one thing, though, that you said that really kind of freaks me out a little bit is you said if the light hadn't been just right, you probably wouldn't have seen it, which also says to me that if you're walking through the woods, you could walk right into that Luckily, sucker. it was off on the side. It, it was not on the trail. It was not stretching across the trail. But, you know, I, and I think there's a couple things going on here that kind of pumped up its fame. Number one, it is around Halloween. That's when people are thinking about this. Oh, yeah. But I also think that, you know, I mean, people are stressed out about the pandemic. They're stressed out about politics. There's a lot of stress right now. And this just provided a little therapy, a little comfort. I mean, you can always go to nature for therapy and comfort and stress relief, and this is just another example of that. And crazy cool craftsmanship <laughs> yes, from this exactly. orb weaver spider. Exactly. All right, if people want to learn more, they can go to, now tell me if this is right, mdc.mo.gov. Yes, yes, that's right. And we oh. have information about a variety of orb weaver spider species in Missouri. And uh, like I said, it's orb weaver is, is not the specific species. There are several types of orb yeah. weavers, but the, the, they're known for the types of web they weave. And this is an example of, you know, to the nth degree. That, so. was, that was really, really beautiful. Look at it. Anyway, thanks for sharing the story. Oh, it was great. You know, oh, unfortunately, the spider web wasn't as big as what it's been made out to be. But when you look at the big detail, <laughs> when you look at it, it is just truly awesome. wonderful. All so. right, Francis, thank you so much. Love that story. All right, coming up, we have more Macadoodles fun. It's time for more Kim Lorenzen, so don't go away. Be right back.